Well, I couldn't believe this if this is the article, and it is. It is, believe me, in my file, one of those four articles. The prosecutor says, here I make PKK propaganda, in this very article. Can you believe the absurdity? This is Fascism Gürcesi Bugün. Just maybe the title, Fascism. And he um, seriously says, I'm doing PKK propaganda in this. <laughs> it's where? <laughs> There's nothing even uh, about, you know, politics almost, except the very last sentence, to live in the days of uh, massacres or something like that. And this is the article that is one of the main evidences against me. Yeah. Shame on them! Shame on them! Shame on them! And I had to defend this in the court, I mean, and the, even the judge was surprised. I said, look, uh, I mean, I can't understand where is the, <laughs> what is the illegal in this article. And, and it was very funny, actually. Another article, uh, the prosecutor has uh, cited, uh, actually, I think they took it off the indictment later. They were so ashamed, they changed. Uh, one of the, his, there is a line uh, from T.S. Uh, T. Eliot and I defined as I look this is not my line my sentence, it is T.S. Eliot it's a poem and it's about the cruelty of mankind it's not the cruelty of Turkish soldiers, yeah they were uh, saying I was offending Turkish military and it's a uh, uh, very well known from Wasteland. It's really very, it was a very embarrassing situation, I think, for them that they asked me these lines and this is T.S. Eliot and this is the article. <laughs> it's incredible, really, it was really embarrassing for all sides. And there was one article they said, I think maybe this one, yeah, yeah, for this, this uh, fascism just today. They said, I'm criticizing uh, the operation on PKK uh, members in a specific town and I'm presenting the members of PKK as civilians. I said, look, in this article first, there is no time, place, no operation, <laughs> no war. Not a, you can't say it is Turkey or and plus the operation the prosecutor has mentioned has happened in June and my article was published in May. How could I criticize an operation that hasn't even happened? Now it's so obvious they are lying. Uh, but of course in Turkey, uh, you know, uh, recently a journalist and a parliamentary of social democrats was sentenced to 25 years to a, in a court. He just walked in freely. So there is no safety in being released. He wasn't even arrested. And they gave him 25 years and arrested him on the spot. Well, actually, the case is still going, and uh, the prosecutor's final word will be in March, so he can ask life again. I, I don't think he, they will ask a life sentence, but surely he will ask, I don't know, up to 17 and a half years they can ask. And this will be the most difficult moment. I won't be there. The court is going fine because all, everyone is released. There are no more people. I mean, it's a very strange court case anyway. And I think this new regime is trying to define a new model for women. Not new, different from Kemalism. It's the age-old, the kirhe, the, uh, the, the mosque, the kitchen, the child. Uh, women should have three children. They should not have abortions. They should not, even Caesarian is banned, he's against Caesarian. But of course, we have to understand that a, major, a great majority of women are also fanatical supporters of Erdogan. 
diese Frauensolidarisierung äh, bedarf, äh, besonders aus diesem Raum her, freilich äh, eine große Sehnsucht, auch äh, für mich äh, eine sehr äh, stark politische Sehnsucht. Ich habe auch von Aslas Interviews immer wieder gehört, ja, besonders nachdem sie von der Gefängnis rauskam, äh, wie das für sie wichtig war und noch einmal zu betonen war für sie, dass die besonders von den Frauen auch innerhalb der äh, Inhaftierung in der Gefängnis unter Frauen diese solidarische Stimmung ja, wie kraftgebend äh, für sie war und auch von außen zu ihr. Also da gibt es freilich endlose äh, Beispiele.